these singles are hot. Hey, ladies, it's your man. They're sexy. Hey. That means come on in and party, girl. And they know it. I'm the king. But what they don't know is this dating competition has a twist. You will have the chance to excuse one of the girls. Of all the gigs to get, something like this, where they give you the creative license to say whatever you want. How do you feel about uh, Tupac over here? You know, there are parts of all shows that are cheesy, but at the end of the day, I don't have to come to work and read poorly written lines and do hacky comedy. I can make up my own jokes and Having that freedom is is pretty cool because most most comics don't get jobs like that. So. You should sell your hair and pay for a personality. The way this works is I sit in here with two eligible bachelors with bachelorettes, and we sit and we watch this monitor, and people come to the front door of this house and they try to get in, and it's pretty much based on a first impression. We decide if we want to let you in or excuse you, and so the guys of all the girls that come, it might be ten girls, we pick the four that you like. And once those four are in, the guys then watch a little background package on each girl. Uh, and then they excuse two more girls. So it's really about your per your looks kind of getting you in the front door, but your personality is what keeps you. Because you can be the hottest girl ever, and if you're like, I just sleep with my dog's ashes and I cry after sex, I'm probably not gonna keep you unless you're like really hot. Uh, I guess because you could always leave after sex. And uh, so then the two guys and two girls that they've chosen go out on some dates. And when they get back from the dates, the two guys excuse one more girl based on how your dates went. Okay. Then the girl, this is, it sounds convoluted, but it's not. The girl then goes out with both guys on like intimate dates, like with candles, lots of candles. We're very big on candles here and wine. And the girl then has the power to excuse one of those guys. So you can't be cocky all day because your head ends up on the chopping block. So there is that switch. That's and then there's reversal. another one. Then she decides, he decides if he'll actually be there at the end for her. So there's always power shifting. So you can't get too comfortable. One of the cool things about the show is the online component is um, we are paired with jazz.com, which is a dating site. And when you go on our show, everyone except for me, you're given a free dating profile. So you could be sitting at home watching the show and you see a girl that you think is super cute, she gets excused, you can go online and try to talk to her, meet her. So it brings the world of dating and the television world that much closer to you via the internet. So it's integrated online and it's the only show to do that. And I think that's the wave of the future. I mean. Pretty cool. My phobia that I have is claustrophobia. We know how you feel about claustrophobia. It's not claustrophobic, it's claustrophobia. Nope, it's claustrophobia. <laughs> I hear people all the time, you always hear girls like, I like him, he's confident and not cocky. I'm like, oh, it's so clever. And then when sometimes when people have big foreheads, it's always like, she's got a five head. I'm like, oh. Uh, deuces drives me insane. Anything you hear in rap that you think you can then use in real life is not okay, especially if you're white. It looks so stupid. Black guys like to make fun of black girls' hair a lot. They're like, oh, what is that? Oh, she got a stupid wig. Oh, and then girls. Black girls are very tough on black guys, I've noticed, which is very funny. Like, oh, look, his fade ain't right. What is that taco meat? And I just sit here like, you're so mean. People can be really generic, and especially as the host sitting here, if I see one more person be like, this is, when they get excused, I'm gonna throw a chair. VH1 uh, had the foresight to pick it up, so it's gonna be airing on your local uh, affiliate channels wherever you live, check your listings, and then it will also be on VH1, so you can see this show like four times a night. Some places it airs twice, uh, and then on VH1, I think it might air twice a day. And so that's November 14th, and. Uh, I, it's a great fit because VH1 is colorful, it's fun, it's got a young audience, they like dating shows, they love reality shows, so this is perfect. Don't touch your hair, it makes you look stupid. You're excused.